What is good everybody today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news there's a few things I want to get into in this video and it's because I was actually out of town the other day when we did our news video yesterday the one that was posted up I did that video I think it was on Friday morning or something like that to talk about everything and this stuff right here was posted the same day but I had already finished the video because I was getting ready to go out of town so that was the reason that I could not get everything in the video but today we're going to cover everything that I want to cover and talk about everything here today man so with those things being said man I mean let's dive into it and then we'll touch on another topic at the end of the video that I want to get into and I just want to hear all of your thoughts on everything as we progress through so let me know all of your thoughts man but let's start things off with this so we have two different two packs that are going to be coming soon and we had some different images and different things going on with these that I wanted to discuss so let's go ahead and get right into it man starting out first we did have a look at the ringside exclusive outsiders ultimate edition two pack featuring Scott Hall and Kevin Nash now these were sent off to my man battle stories who has been the just he's so talented he works he works and does projects with Mattel now and he's the one that made my intro he he makes my intros and he did it way back in the day man he's a very talented artist here and so he was sharing these reels here of these of these action figures and unboxing them and I'm imagining that these have to be coming very very soon if these are already being unboxed shown off and stuff like that so we do have Kevin Nash and Scott Hall both of these look very good we're gonna of course do a two-pack review of these once we get them in hand all the details look very good they're great ultimate editions I think the Razor Ramon was pretty good the first time around we have seen Diesel we have not seen Kevin Nash in ultimate edition form but I mean I guess we have but you know what I mean I, I I'm excited for these figures. I think some of the head sculpts look really good. I think some of the details are better. These are the best versions of these versions of the Outsiders that we've ever seen. I think these look really, really good. I'm excited for them overall. I like the presentation of the packaging, and you guys know that as well as I do is that we also have the Steiners coming not too far in the future as well, which is another two-pack that I'm very shocked we haven't actually gotten yet, especially these. The Outsiders and the Steiners, I, I just don't know where they are, but apparently they should be coming very soon with this video here and getting some different detailed shots. These guys should be on their way relatively soon, but I'm excited for them. I think they look really good. Another little video we had that Battle Stories posted was of the Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite Dudley Boys from their ECW days. These look so good. I'm so excited for these. These could be two of the better elites of the year, and we're going to, of course, do our top 25 elites of the year, something like that. I would love to rank every elite from the year, but I, that, that would require a little bit more timing. It would just depend on that, but I am definitely going to do my top 10, my top 20 25 WWE Elite of the Year, but the shirts on these guys look immaculate. I'm loving all the different details. A lot of really good sculpts that are unique. Love the packaging. You have the insert, the hardcore ECW wrestling insert to the background. You have the tag titles. They just look really, really clean. These, this is a pair of Dudleys we've been wanting for so long. Of course, we did get the From the Vault Series 1 where they got their re-release of the Elite 45 Dudleys, which were, was a great pack as well. But these right here could be the Dudley Boys, like the best Dudley Boys that we've ever seen. And I know it is great in the From the Vault Series. We did get to see, you know, camo Dudleys that have double jointed arms and all those things. And I thought personally that we would get some sort of ultimate edition of the, of the Dudley boys. And I can assure you, if we ever get Edge and Christian and the Dudleys and the Hardys all back under contract, I could see them doing some sort of crowdfunding project, ultimate edition revamped of the TLC match uh, at WrestleMania X7. I think that would be an absolutely phenomenal. So I could see them doing something like that. But I wanted to get on here and touch on this because I thought this video looked good and it really shows off how good these guys are going to be and I can't wait for them. I cannot wait for this pack of Dudleys right now and I want to say I don't know if they're up for a pre-order. I know the Headbangers are up for pre-order. I don't know if these are up for pre-order. I want to say maybe they are. I can't re I can't remember honestly. I, I do apologize for that. They're either on Mattel Creations or Ringside Collectibles. You can go up there and check after this video but let's get into the last gallery of images that we didn't get to touch on the other day and this is going to be on the WrestleMania 41 Elites. The Vegas Elites here. We have a pretty good set here. It is going to be a Howard Finkel Build-A-Figure which is a re-release of a previously done build a figure you guys know that we're in the you know we we talk about different eras of wwe and different eras of wrestling but we're in the re-release era we're in the you know sort of the redo era when it comes to wrestling action figures even though we're in the golden era we're in the renaissance we are also in the re-release era where they're just re-releasing a shish ton of figures and it's it's good stuff but it's also stuff that's kind of annoying at different times but let's go ahead and get into it man let's start things off with the first figure in the set which is going to be bianca belair from her matchup at wrestlemania 39 a very damn good bianca belair we haven't seen a bianca belair elite in a little bit now i think it was what was it elite 91 i think it was or something like that we did get her ultimate edition unless i'm skipping over one 
one. We had her Ultimate Edition. We had her Elite 91 figure, I believe it was. We had her Elite 81 figure, which was great. So her figures are batting a thousand. We talk about nobody bats a thousand. Well, all of her figures so far have been batting a thousand. She hasn't had a bad figure. Her head sculpt looks really good. Really like the gear and the sculpts and the uniqueness here. Should be a fun, posable figure. I don't like these knee pads. These are those Ultimate Edition Charlotte style knee pads that I don't like. Honestly, probably just going to get rid of the knee pads altogether so she can, you know, bend her knees and stuff. So we'll see about that. I might, you know, play around with some different ones. I just, you know, I can sacrifice some accuracy just because I don't really care about the knee pad designs on this figure specifically. But I like this a lot. I like the, her, her gear is sick and I'm pretty sure she makes all of her gear herself, which is very impressive. And the little details and nuances of the gear are great. I love that she has the Hollywood star, you know, from the Walk of Fame. And you have the Bianca Belair in that Hollywood star. Then you have the, the kiss emoji or the lips emojis underneath or the logos, which just looks so good. This is a pretty damn good Bianca Belair. I'm excited for it. I think it looks good. I wish I had Ultimate Edition boots, but we'll live with it. We'll live with what we got here. I, I like this Bianca Belair. Let's dive into the next figure, man, which is going to be the Seth Rollins. Now, this is also a figure that was from WrestleMania 39. Got to see these matches in person, so it's really awesome to witness, but this figure right here is so damn good, and I wish it, to a certain extent, do I wish it was an Ultimate that had all of the different entrance gear and all this crap, you know, this crazy stuff going on. Of course, that would be awesome, but I love the little, I know it's not a fanny pack, but it's very fanny pack s this little belt clip that goes around his waist and it looks like it moves i think it moves around if you look at you know sort of the stationary poses and then you look at him in some other poses the belt is lifted up and stuff so if this is a separate piece which it looks like it is i could see them doing that because it would require the same exact seth rollins you know torso and arms and all this different stuff i just oh man i just remembered how damn bad that new top picks one is where he's got the daniel bryan torso and it just it made me it made me pissed off i just thought about it for a slight second made me upset i'm gonna get off of that we'll come back to that maybe later but just thinking about the formula of this and then thinking about the formula of that made me upset but if you look at the torso and crotch i'm imagining they're using you know the head sculpt torso arms and crotch shoulders all that mess same exact deal as his other figures they just re-sculpted some new thighs and legs here which is why you're getting that puffiness look which is exactly what he wore versus logan paul at wrestlemania but i think this belt is a separate piece here which you could you know remove i like how it has the little fanny pack sort of belt clip in there it's a nice sculpt but this gear is phenomenal this is a great upgrade because it has the updated formula in terms of the thicker legs and stuff like that but I, I wish it did come with some different stuff but i love this figure i think it looks very very good i may play around with a couple things i'm gonna be grabbing this figure as much as i possibly can because i have an idea of what i could possibly do you know how it has the puffiness on the legs i might go in and kind of experiment with this figure and see if i could dremel off some of that puffiness and see if i could get it into some flat tight and then possibly add some decals something and, and turn it into like this fantasy pink gear. Maybe add a belt or something. So it won't have that puffy belt. It won't have the puffy legs. It'll just be sort of like pink legs or pink tights for Seth Rollins. But I do like the shininess on the kick pads, everything going on. Seth Rollins figure looks great, but damn, I thought about that Daniel Bryan torso set that's coming not too far in the future. And it makes me vomit. At least it's a re-release gear, but Jesus, that, that's just terrible. This is the torso they should use. It's just much better and it just flows freely. There's just no reason I don't think that they should should have done that but let's move on man we have Bret Hart which is probably the figure we didn't see the most at San Diego comic-con because this is the men on card figure that they had on display they didn't have a loose version and a men on card version they only had a men on card version and the way the shadows and the lighting was hitting the packaging you couldn't see in there you couldn't see the head sculpt and everything but this head sculpt it looks to be a brand new Bret Hart head sculpt and I still <laughs> I don't know I just still don't really like it for Bret Hart it's not the worst I've ever seen and it kind of has like a subtle I don't know like a lifetime movie movie aspect to it where it's like oh it's not half bad but then more I look at it the more I'm just I don't see Bret Hart when I look at these head sculpts my favorite personal head sculpt is the Elite 94 but this one's not the worst I've ever seen it's definitely not my favorite gear I'm not a big fan of this gear the you know the black singlet over the pink but it's not the worst of all time I'm just not very big personal fan of this figure I think it's kind of plain and nothing that I really care about but maybe if you're a big Bret Hart guy maybe this is something that you like or maybe you're looking forward to but for me personally not that much looking forward to it my favorite part of it is the boots which I've touched on. Bret Hart has some of the best boots of all time. So, and you guys know I love pink and pink and black go together very nicely. And I like Bret Hart. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't, I think it's the spacing of the eyes is thrown off. It's too wide and it kind of throws off the likeness. You can kind of tell in the mental card shot what I'm talking about, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Some of these head sculpts, they nail it and it's unreal. And then sometimes it's like, who the hell is even that? You know what I mean? So I don't know what we're 
getting into there. But let's move on to the next figure. It is going to be Hulk Hogan, which is the re-release of the Elite 34 Chilling Out at the Con signing autographs version of Hulk Hogan here. And to be a Chilling Out at the Con Hulk Hogan, not a bad life. Not a bad life right here. This Hulk Hogan looks pretty damn good in terms of everything going on. It has a ton of details. I mean, you're looking at, I think this is a brand new head sculpt, man. I think there's a brand new head sculpt. You're getting the t-shirt with no Velcro. It says Hulk's Rules. And then on the back, it says one train, two, eat your vitamins, three, say your prayers, and four, believe in yourself, brother. And it's got the Hulk Hogan autograph. God, you could make some funny meme material out of that shirt. But the Hulk's Rules shirt does look good. And I, I they did update the tan. At San Diego Comic Con, this guy did not have this version of tan. He had like the regular tan. So they did upgrade this figure a little bit there. And I don't know, this is kind of a, a cool figure. This is kind of a cool figure. If you wanted to make like a different version of Hulk Hogan, it is looking all right right here. I do think he looks like a bit of a giraffe neck. You are getting that cane style torso or that bigger style torso. You're getting that taller torso, so it does look a little bit weird, but I have, I think I've held the Elite 34 Hulk Hogan in my hand. I don't think I've ever owned it, but I think I did. I, I don't remember where it was, but I want to say I picked it up and posed it around. It's a very poseable figure, and it has some fun parts in terms of posing and stuff, and with the addition of the double jointed arms, it's probably going to be even better. So this figure may be really fun to pose around. I think I used the legs of it on a custom or something, maybe, like out of a fodder lot that I got or something like that, but this is, this is not a bad figure. It's just kind of a, you know, it's not the most ideal figure, but if you're a Hulk fan, this is going to be something you like, and I think that it is, like, it's a, it's one of those figures that's kind of a eye roll release. They crossed their T's, they dotted their I's, and they made this figure, I guess, worth picking up in terms of detail. It wasn't just like a slap and go. They actually paid attention to it, but I guess they do that with Hogan, you know, the, his basics have more articulation. His, I don't know, there's something about Hulk Hogan figures that seems like they go the extra mile, which, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about all that, but let's move on to the next figure, which is going to be the build a figure, which is the greatest ring announcer of all time. It is going to be the Fink, and Howard Finkel looks immaculate right here. Great head sculpt, great overall body and build. I like this body as a, you know, a custom body. You could use this for guys in bow ties and stuff, so this is immaculate. Very much looking forward to this. It looks like they switched out the shoes. He has, like, regular boot shoes here instead of the dress shoes. I don't know if that's accurate or not or if it's the same as it was last time. I want to say this is a different shoe mold, but they are using the uh, Mr. Perfect legs, I think they are, in this figure instead of the standard legs that we've come to know so they are using that. I don't know. The feet look different to me. I could be wrong, but I like the Howard Finkel figure. I did use mine as a custom, so I'll definitely be keeping this one how it is, but if I'm able to pick up some different versions and get some different, you know, multiple copies of the build figure and things like that, then that'll be something that I want to touch on, but Howard Finkel looks really, really good, and I did want to, of course, talk about the Howard Finkel figure, but here at the end, I did mention this briefly in our last news video, but the Lucha Bros are signed to WWE now, so we know that the Lucha Bros apparently are on their way to WWE, and as soon as they make their debuts, they're going to be plugged into an Elite line and possibly even getting maybe some Ultimate Editions, like Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Editions. I guess it will depend on what their role is or how, you know, well they're received. I imagine they will be received well because they are so damn good, and so we'll have to see what comes of that. But their Ultimate Editions, their Elites, their figures that they get from Mattel are going to be mind-blowing. And I know that they had a fantastic track record with everybody that's ever made their likeness and their figures. AEW made some great unrivaled, unmatched figures. They made unbelievable Supremes of both of those guys. But Mattel getting a chop at it is going to be just as good, if not better. We'll have to see, and we will do a, a ton of comparisons when we finally get those figures. I mean, you're looking at probably, you're probably looking at Christmas 2025 before we ever get those figures, but them in Ultimate Edition form, them in Elite form is going to be absolutely incredible, and I can't wait for it, but, you know, until, you know, things are 100% confirmed or we actually see these guys on WWE television, can't really say anything, but I think going into Rumble season, into Mania season, we will see these guys show up, they should show out, and we'll get those guys in figure form, and I imagine maybe at Comic-Con next year we'll get a great render or some sort of render shot of the Lucha bros and i know those figures are going to be fantastic with all their tattoos and all their different stuff it should be great but that is all the news that we had today man i want to get on here and touch on it because we missed out on that gallery and i do apologize for that you hate to see it you know some things sometimes are out of my control and i couldn't touch on it but i want to get on here touch on all my thoughts of what we have coming and it should be very fun man but i'm getting the hell out hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know your thoughts down below man i'm gonna go on a toy hunt today see if i can find some good shish i'm still on the look for xavier woods from the tmnt set i'm on the hunt for any monday night wars figures and different things like that. So we will see. I'll see you guys on the hunt maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see what, what comes of it. But we also have a Whatnot stream coming next weekend. So be on the lookout for that. There's going to be some you know some information coming in the next few days on that. And we'll be posting up news about it and everything. So you guys can get in on the next Whatnot stream. Should be you know Whatnot exclusive customs and different things going on, man. So be excited for it if you guys are 
excited for the whatnot stream. Should be fun. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. You guys are absolutely a blessing to me and I appreciate all of you guys. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>